Hello, fellow traders. Nidabar Trading coming to you on a Saturday morning. And this is just a quick... I'm going to try and keep this very brief. A quick update on where I'm at. Kind of my weekly summary. I'm not even sure what week this is, but this is just going to be a quick update on where I'm at and what the plan is moving forward. Um, if you're... Yeah, if you haven't been following along, um, I'm not going to give go into depth, but we've been trying we're trying to get acclimated to trading funded accounts um i've been struggling i have been struggling trading funded accounts i can pass evaluation accounts no problem um it i can trade evaluation accounts and i just have struggled to bring that consistency to my funded accounts and i know a lot of people tell me just trade the same, you know, just, just trade the same, pretend like they're evaluation accounts, you know, and to that, I say, yes, yes, exactly. Um, I wish, I mean, that is what I'm trying to do. Um, but it's up here. It's mental. There's a psychological struggle going on and, uh, we're trying to get over it. We're trying to work through it. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we're going to get there. We are going to get to a payout with Apex. I'm telling you, we're going to get there. So going back two weeks, um, we had a blow up. Okay. If you haven't followed along, this is your first time tuning in. Um, first of all, welcome. And second of all, it's really important to me that I'm fully transparent with you guys. So that means... You see the good, bad, and ugly. There's been a lot of ugly. And about two weeks ago, I blew 11 funded accounts. And after that happened, I kind of needed a reset. So I did, kind of went off the path a little bit, tried a different kind of strategy where it's more of a mechanical entry. And I needed a mental break. I needed something different. I'm glad I actually did it because... It definitely shows, like, there's pros and cons to it, and I wanted to try it because I haven't ever really tried that type of uh, trading before. And I did try it, and there's definitely some things I liked about it, but overall, it's just not me. Um, it's just not me. And I always say, you know, every trader is different. Every trader has their own unique way of trading. And I think it's important that every trader trade what makes sense to them and what they understand. And that's very important. And I just, the mechanical entries is not for me. If it is for you, that's great. Um, but for me, I'm moving back to how I, how I used to trade. And that is trading price action. Am I perfect? No. Um, I use discretionary entries. Do I make mistakes? Yes, 100%. I'm still a learning new trader. So I always feel like that's important for people to understand. And this channel is basically me documenting my journey to becoming consistently profitable. And we're going to go over valleys. We're going to go... It's going to be a ride. It is not a linear or linear, you know, upslope to consistent profitability. That's just not how it works. Um, we're going to take two steps forward. Then we're going to take one step back. And we're going to have struggles along the way. I completely understand that and accept it. That's just part of learning. Um it's part of learning in life. You know, that's how life works, not just trading. And we're okay with it. I'm okay with it. And I am just going to, we're going to keep on. We're going to keep at it. And right now, my biggest hurdle, I need to trade these funded accounts, get over that mental psychological hurdle of trading funded accounts. Because like I said, right now, that is my biggest hurdle. So how we're going to do that is 
we're going to trade. Actually, let me just switch screens and we will just kind of dive right in. So this is my current PA funded accounts. This is the list of my funded accounts. We currently have 14, um, 14 funded accounts. You can see here, these five are fresh, fresh accounts. Um, these accounts I've had for, man, I'm not even sure. I think the longest I've had these account the, is 64 days, which is just 64 traded days. I've had them even for longer than that, but regardless, doesn't really matter. This is the balance that these accounts are currently at. And my plan is we're going to take one account as a primary account. So this account is the primary account. Um, and we're going to trade that account the beginning of every day. Okay. So follow me along here, but we're going to trade. That is our primary account. And our goal is to get that account to a payout. Like I feel like part of me, I feel like if I just get one account to pay out and take that payout, it's going to kind of the mental, it'll help me mentally and psychologically of getting over this hurdle of trading funded accounts. And like, sometimes I think it, I, I, I'm thinking too much. Um, I'm being too cautious. I'm being too fearful. And again, that's just all part of what I need to work through. Uh, but this is going to be our primary account that we will trade at the beginning of every day. Now, when the day starts, once we get to like $150 to $200 profit target on that account for that day, then we're going to stop trading that account and we're going to move to the next account. Once or if we, you know, we're always going to start with this account. If we have a $150 loss on that account, we're also going to stop trading that account and we're going to move to a different account. So we're going to cycle through all of these accounts, but we're going to have a primary account that we're always going to be trading at the beginning of every day. And basically the goal is to try and build up that account to where we can get a payout. So that's kind of the goal for that. And yeah, we're just going to keep going until we get to a payout. And obviously I'm starting out with trading micros. Um, we traded micros on Friday. That was the first day of trading our funded accounts again in about uh, two weeks. So yeah, we're going to, let me actually just show Tradezilla right now. There's not a whole lot to show here, but basically this was our day on Friday. We, uh, we took three trades on Friday, um, all three of them winners, had a good day, and really not much more to say on that, not a lot more to recap uh, than that, but this is where we're going to track. And you might notice, yes, this is a completely fresh new Tradezilla account that we're tracking. And we've had, we were tracking our funded accounts on a different platform or a different account. And you can go back and see those videos, but it was ugly. We blew up. It's over. We're starting fresh. It is what it is. Um, there were mistakes made. There were lessons learned. And uh, <laughs> here we are. We're going to move forward. And like I say, like I've said, I am going to make mistakes and we're going to mess up, but we're going to learn. We're going to keep pushing forward. And uh, we just, that's, that's the main goal is to learn from our mistakes and make sure we're making some sort of progress. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're not quitters. We ain't going to stop. We're not going to stop until we get there. And, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, kind of rejuvenated and ready to trade. I'm excited to trade these funded accounts. I want to make sure I stay patient. I stay disciplined. And I also 
The key for me with trading is that I'm not hesitant. I found that some of my worst days are when I am too hesitant on pulling the trigger on when I see a setup. I see a setup and I like it, but then I start double doubting myself. I see a setup, I see price action that goes according to my plan and I'm like, okay, but, you know, and all of a sudden I start talking myself out of the trade and I'm like, well, what about, you know, it could reverse and it could do this. You know, the one thing with the market, no one ever knows with 100% certainty what the market will do next. We don't. There's just no way of, if someone ever tells you they do, you can write them off as a furu. But... You know, if we if I have an entry and I like it, then I have to pull the trigger. So that's something I definitely am also working on is just not not being hesitant, pulling that trigger when I see a good setup. So anyway, that's it. Um, that's it for today, uh, for this week. And we'll be uh, trading live Monday morning. Hope to see you there and uh, join me on this journey. I would appreciate it. I really do appreciate everyone that's followed along. It's been an amazing journey. Even through our struggles, um, it's been an amazing journey, and I really do appreciate every one of you. Thank you, and have a great rest of your weekend, and God bless.